was actually started off in Paris when I started my mission, and they're known for speaking really fast in French. Namur is the city that is known in Belgium for the, being the slowest speaking French city in Belgium. And so like they have like this big snail statue in there like to like represent, okay, we speak slow. Um, some people would say that the Belgian people are nicer than French people. <clears throat> I think it's pretty much the same. I will, like, maybe if they were nicer, maybe a little bit in Belgium, but, I mean, I didn't notice a huge difference. Um, the French is, it's still French, but there's a little bit of a different accent, and it's not enough to where you can't understand them, or they use different words sometimes. But, I'll be honest, I loved Belgium. Like, it was so awesome. Like, the city that I was in was also, so, again, from Paris to Namur, it's super tiny. Um, I remember when we'd walk around on the streets, like, I think within a week, like, I had the place memorized. <laughs> like, it was it was that small. Um, but about Namur, it was, this like, the downtown or whatever. There's a lot of bars. And so, <clears throat> so that was always funny, just seeing people, like, at night and stuff. But there's this place called Shea Gabby in Namur. So they, they make kebabs and mitraillettes and then, like, the fries. Oh, that's another funny thing about Belgium. People think that, like, we call them French fries. French fries actually don't come from France. They come from Belgium. It's like, I don't know how we started calling them French fries. But fries in Belgium, sorry, getting off track. But <laughs> fries in Belgium are just so good. That those are, That's another difference from France, too, is the taste of the fries. I feel like I saw more cars in Belgium than I did in, in France and Paris. Yeah, I'd probably say the biggest difference is, like, the way they speak. And they're just, like, I feel like they're just bigger in Belgium. <laughs> They're just kind of maybe fatter. You could, I guess you could say that, but they're just bigger human beings, and because they eat, like I said, like more meat, they eat more sugary stuff. Yeah. So in Belgium, I think it was mostly mostly Catholics, and then you have a lot of Muslims. At least where I was, there was a, a good amount of Muslims there, and so I guess with the Catholics, like their values are pretty much the same. Like is our like for the most part, you know, Christian and like Jesus Christ and stuff like that. And then with the Muslims, I would say. Um, I guess they are, they are very similar too. It's just, they have different views on Jesus Christ. Um, but for like, for them, he's just a prophet. Um, family's important in Belgium. I feel like I actually saw more families, younger families in Belgium than I did in France. There, I feel like there were more practicing religious people in Belgium than there were in France. Yeah. So like when we would go contacting in the streets, like tracting and stuff, I feel like more people were a little bit like the native Belgians were a little bit more open. They would at least give us time to talk more than I had experienced in Paris. Um, yeah, they typically, yeah, I'd say they're a little bit more open. I, I mean, it's not a huge difference. They're, they're almost exactly the same to the French people. It's pretty much exactly the same. Um, so it depended on the area I was in when it came to the success. <clears throat> so for example, in Paris, there's tons of immigrants, like people from all over the world. So we taught a lot of like, African people there, and Africans are typically always believing, and they're they're very spiritual. I don't know if that's racist or anything, but I mean it's it's kind of true. In Belgium, I remember we taught like a Portuguese guy, uh, like a couple Africans, and then some uh, native Belgians, Belgians as well. And then when I was in the north of France, kind of a mixture of mostly Africans, and then like some French. But my last city I was in is a place called Van. It's the west coast of France. I only taught French people. It was pretty cool. Because um, I remember my whole mission, I was just used to teaching, like, Africans or, like, you know, people that weren't from France for the most part. But then in Van, they were just all French. And it was like, oh, like, they actually do, like, listen here. I guess I knew the whole time, but, yeah, demographic, mostly immigrants. But you do definitely teach French and Belgian people for sure. Yeah, the way they count in Belgium, it's like 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. In French, in like translated directly to say seventy in French is sixty ten, but then in Belgium it actually makes more sense. Like the way they say it, it sounds like so soixante dix, that's sixty ten. In Belgium it's sept ans, just like seven, and then the next number, and then ninety in France is like quatre So it's four twenty ten. That's how they say it in French directly translated, and then Belgium is just basically like saying ninety. Oh, and they also say attento. They don't say that in France. Attento is like, see you later. In Namur, um, most of the time people actually drive to Brussels. 
um, to go work there because it's pretty small. There's really not much going on. There's people that in these small towns will go work in other small towns. I'd say Namur, the biggest industry. Yeah, most people I would say worked in Belgium, or if they worked in Namur, it was like either in the bars or they would work like in the little shops that were already there. Yeah, for the most part, people. It's about a thirty, about thirty minute drive, I think, forty five minute drive to Brussels. So they would just commute to there.